Modern life's got us chasing the next big thing, always hungry for the new. But the best life advice isn't new, it's ancient and time-tested. It is buried in the past, and most of us have forgotten or overlooked it. Let's tap into the core wisdom our ancestors lived by. It's real, raw, and more relevant than you might believe. Here are your five timeless lessons from ancient wisdom. Lesson one, from ancient Sumerian proverbs. He who would injure you injure first. Imagine a storm approaching. You notice the signs, dark clouds on the horizon. What do you do? You take action. You board up windows, find shelter, and prepare for what's coming. This proverb is a storm warning of life. It's not about violence or vengeance. No, this is about us, staying alert. It's about seeing the signs. It's about being one step ahead. It's about shielding yourself, your dreams, your loved ones from potential pitfalls. It is the ancient version of forewarned is forearmed. The essence is clear. Prepare, be proactive, and don't be caught off guard. Ultimately, it's not the storm. It's how you handle it. Get up, anticipate the blows, shield yourself, and face the storm head on. It's not about being aggressive. It's a strong push to take action and guard your dreams passionately. When you control where your life is headed, you are in a much better place to actually reach your goals. Don't let anyone else control your success. You're no bystander. You design your destiny. Lesson two, from the Native American Hopi tribe, one finger cannot lift a pebble. No matter how strong or skilled an individual might be, collective strength and teamwork magnify potential. It's a plea for unity, for recognizing the power in numbers, and for the magic that happens when energies align. This wisdom is especially important to follow today when the world is so decidedly individualistic. As powerful as one might feel, it's together that we truly make an impact. Alone, a task might seem daunting, impossible even, but with combined strength, the impossible becomes the norm. You don't have to do it all on your own. Form connections, make allies, and become part of a strong community. When you come together, you become a force that nothing can stand against. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign that you're fully committed to succeeding. I get it. Sometimes we hesitate to ask. We've been taught that we should be self-sufficient and that seeking assistance might make us look inadequate. But that's a myth we need to break free from. It's not about being a lone wolf. It's about recognizing that when you pool resources, ideas, and support, you always win. You might be thinking, what if I rely on others and they let me down? Well, my friend, that's a possibility. But that's the beauty of having a strong tribe around you. When one falters, others step up. You know that saying, no man is an island? Well, it's true. You're not meant to navigate life's challenges all by yourself. Life can be tough. Life is tough. The pressures of carving your path, making the right choices, and proving your worth can be downright daunting. But that's why you need your friends. They've got your back when you're unsure, when you're facing obstacles that seem insurmountable. They're not a crutch, they're your people. You might be thinking, what if I can't find the right people to connect with? Trust me, I've been there too. It might take time, but remember, quality trumps quantity. Seek out those who align with your values, those who inspire you to push boundaries. And don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Sharing your struggles and goals creates a bond that's unbreakable. So let's redefine the way we see help. It's not a sign of weakness. It's the way to rise above and achieve your goals. Together, you're not limited by your individual capabilities. Together, you can overcome any challenge that comes your way. Remember, you're not alone in this. Your community stands strong beside you, ready to lift you up when you stumble and celebrate with ancient you Egyptian you proverbs. The best and shortest road towards knowledge of truth is nature. This saying tells us to turn to the natural world for answers because it holds deep wisdom in its simple ways. It all boils down to the concept of earth, sky, water, and wind. Our ancestors learned important things from the sound of leaves, the patterns of stars, and how birds flew. This saying isn't just about nature. It's about going back to the basics. When things get complicated and you need answers or peace, it tells you to step outside, feel the sun's warmth, take in a breath of fresh air. Life's beauty is in its simplicity, and sometimes 
The clearest answers come when you're quiet and surrounded by nature. Imagine a world not yet taken over by the noise of the screens. A world where people found peace watching sunsets, feeling the water's cool touch, and hearing the wind among the trees. Nature teaches us to keep things simple and to find balance. Nature shows us that change is part of the journey, and by staying close to nature's unchanging presence, we can find a sense of peace and understanding that's not easy to find anywhere else. Underneath the tall buildings, the noisy cities, and all the constant messages we get, there's a world that, where a sunrise's beauty, holds more magic than anything, virtual. Nature isn't just a spot on the map, it's where you can renew yourself and find real truths. When you feel lost or overwhelmed, step outside, look up at the stars, and remember that you're part of a big picture. Pay attention, be right here in the moment. Lesson four, from ancient Sanskrit proverbs, India. Lamp in hand, searching for the sun. This profound wisdom speaks about the ironies of human behavior. Sometimes we search far and wide for something when it's right in front of us or within us. It's a call for introspection, for recognizing the wealth of wisdom and strength we inherently possess. How often do we miss what's right in front of us chasing shadows? Holding a lamp and seeking the sun is like searching the world for happiness when the key to our happiness is within us. This proverb is a gentle mockery from the ancients, poking fun at our complicated process. It implores us to look closer, recognize the treasures we already possess, and celebrate them. It's a call to simplicity, to gratitude, and to understanding the wealth in our possession. So, stop chasing the trivial and recognize the glaringly obvious. It's like hunting for specks of gold, oblivious to the treasure chest at your feet. Get your priorities straight Recognize the sun from Confucius who said, to be in one's inner self in friendly harmony with external things is the source of all genuine happiness. Forget the numbers game. It's not about having tons of friends. It's the depth, the real deal connections that matter. In today's world where a like is mistaken for a deep bond, we need to step up. We've got to strive for relationships that aren't just about surface level chats, but ones where you can be real, raw and authentic. When we genuinely connect, it's not just about getting to know someone else. It's about understanding and discovering more of ourselves. Imagine, it's Friday night. You've had a brutal week. Who's going to sit with you? No questions asked. And I'm not talking about the ones who just tag along for a night out, but the ones who drop by your place with your favorite snack because they genuinely felt something was off. In today's fast-paced world, too many of us boast a contact list full of friends, people we share jokes with at the water cooler or chat with at parties. But if you found yourself stranded on a highway at 3 a.m., how many could you truly rely on to pick up that frantic call? How many even know your coffee order or that song that always gets you dancing? We need to cut through the facade of surface-level connections, dive deeper. Let's strive to create bonds where we actually know what makes each other tick, where we celebrate the highs and navigate the lows together. It's time to make every, hey, how are you, count. Because real friends, they're in the details. The word friend is thrown around like confetti, yet half the time we wouldn't even know if it's their birthday or if they're having a rough week. It's mind boggling. Many claim to have loads of friends, but haven't set foot in their so-called friend's home. Isn't it time we call out this superficial buddy system? If someone's your friend, show up for them. Dive deeper, go beyond the small talk. Let's challenge ourselves to redefine friendship, to create bonds that are about more than just social media likes or casual hellos. Let's strive for friendships where we genuinely know, understand, and show up for each other. That's the real deal. We've been spoon-fed the idea that new is always better, but history has already given us the playbook. Proactivity isn't about retaliation. It's about preparation. Unity, it's not just a word. It's a force that trumps individual strength. Nature's not just scenery. It's the purest form of truth we've got. Looking for answers? Sometimes, they're right under your nose, within you. Stop running towards tomorrow, blinded by the dazzle of the new. Pause. Breathe. The path forward lies in the wisdom of the past. It's time we start respecting it.